All right, guys, this is the 40-something higher <laughs> request. It's like the 43rd or 44th or... 45th, something like that. I'm finishing them all up at the end here, so it doesn't matter, but uh, something like that. It is uh, a Joni Mitchell song, Both Sides Now, but it's uh, the Judy Collins piano cover version that she did in 1987 on TV. Now, I've already done that song, Both Sides Now, on my website, uh, but I it was my own arrangement of the guitar part. Uh, play with it, but the the lady who hired me to do it really wanted this version too. So um, I have uh, I'm doing this song again, but in the Judy Collins version, and you can see it on YouTube. Just look up on YouTube, Judy Collins, Both Sides Now, 1987, and you'll see her version. And uh, it's a piano version that works very nicely. It's in a good key for uh, male or female voice. But here's the intro to it. Then you have a rose and rose of angel hair and ice cream kisses in the air. So it's kind of high for me because <laughs> I'm singing it in Judy's version. Uh, but you know, of course, a, a normal male voice that is not really high like mine will sing it an octave lower. But uh, that's. The version we're teaching. Hello, I'm Sean Cheek. Welcome to my Easy Piano Lessons. I always put the free part one on YouTube and the rest of the lessons for this song, as well as thousands and thousands of other lessons that I've done over the past eight years on my website, webpianoteacher.com. <clears throat> uh, my site will work on all mobile devices, iPad, iPhone, Android operating systems, all that good stuff. And a lot of people have learned uh, from my website. Uh, if you want to see what I'm doing, check out, you know, contact me, that sort of thing. Facebook is the best place to do that. Just do a Facebook search for webpianoteacher.com. Um, I have another website that's not, you know, like this, the whiteboard by ear popular song. If you want to learn how to read music and you're serious about learning how to read traditional music notation well, if you feel like you've just been awful at it and you finally want to learn how to do it and do it well, SeanCheek.com is my site for that, but it's, I have my site reading boot camp buttons on there, but get ready to work if you're going to do that. Uh, my my uh, uh, program does work, but you have to you know put in the time. Um, so that's that site. SeanCheekBlog.com. I post all my newest videos, and also there's some you know information on there about me if you want to read. and uh, Some DVD sets. People, some people like DVDs. So uh, anyway. Enough advertising, let's get started. Special thanks to the person who hired me to do this song. I appreciate that. And all the people who buy memberships to my website, it keeps me going and uh, I'm able to make a you know decent living for me and my family. So I appreciate that. It's a real blessing from God. But let's start here. E flat, E flat on the right hand with an octave. And then what you want to do is go ahead and get your fingers in position for this chord. E flat, A flat, C. Okay, with one, two, four, so that you can go you play the octave, then you play the thumb again and do A flat C. Bum, 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 bum. Then I'm going to go D flat, E flat, A flat, D flat. So only the soprano note on the top changes. And you want to kind of bring out the E flat and the D flat on the top. Now on the left hand, this is what she does. She does A flat on the thumb, and then A flat. Well, just do an octave first. And then here play the thumb again. Now if you can keep holding that A flat on your pinky, you know, all the way, as long as you can. Um, and then you do A flat on your thumb. When you reach for that B flat, if you can reach that, if you have a, a long enough hand, wide enough reach to do it. If you can't, that's okay. Just reach over and, you know, just move off A flat and get it. But if you can hold it, that's, that sounds the best. B flat. Then one more B flat there. I know a lot of great pianists who can can barely reach an octave, so <coughs> nothing wrong with that. Put our hands together. We have one and two and three and four again. And this is just the intro. You know, Joni does the intro on her. Um, I can't remember what instrument she's using for this one, but I know she does the dulcimer and uses her own uh, weird tunings that really work for her. But <coughs> We go to the next measure. The first part's an A flat chord again, so C, E flat, A flat, C. Four, one, two, one is what I'm using. Then we 
go to D flat again with the fifth finger, E flat, A flat, C. So ba 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 ba. So it's kind of like let's see. Ba na 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 na. So the notes I put a little dash over the ones you kind of want to bring out. Kind of gives your ear something to listen to. Okay. Left hand A flat, you reach up for the B flat, then down to A flat with your thumb. So let's put those two boxes together. Ready and go. Now, this measure is very similar to that one. Okay, you can see E flat, E flat, E, e flat, E flat, D flat, E flat, A flat, D flat. Not real similar, but I mean, you know, basically. Uh, so, because I'm just going off of you know what she played. I'm transcribing what Judy's doing in the in the video. So, A flat, A flat, B flat, B flat on the left hand. That's that third one. Now let's time all together. Okay, ready and go. One more measure to go, and I, I started here and I didn't have room, so I finished the measure here. So this is part of that, okay? So it's C, E flat, A flat, C, D flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, ba, 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 three, and four, and is this. <clears throat> okay, and Judy's a pretty good uh, piano player. She's not one that just plays straight chords and plays the same thing every time, you know, just learns just enough to piano to be able to <laughs> perform it. Um, she's, she's good. She has her own little things that she does, especially in the left hand later on. You'll see that in the lessons. And I know she plays guitar too and maybe some other instruments. So, you know, uh, first rate musician. But A flat, A flat, B flat, like we've been doing. Okay, so now let's do the whole intro. Ready and go. You know, don't don't buy anything from me. I, I I gave you a line there to get you started if you're gonna try to pick it out. Uh, I teach this on my website. I'm not gonna teach it here, but I teach it on the website and of course the rest of the song, which I, I've erased there and then I have another board uh, with notes on it too. But there, if you want to figure that out. But it, it's pretty neat to have taught uh, millions and millions of people over the years. It, it's neat because when I teach. Um, when I used to teach just privately, you know, the most you could have was maybe eight students in a day, eight to ten, you know, on a regular weekday. And that's all you can have. But, you know, online, on you can have, you know, thousands of views per day. Thousands of people learn a day. And it's just uh, just fascinating that, that that can happen. And, you know, it feels good to to have been a, to be a part of that, of, of that many people learning music and having it, you know, be a part of their lives. So thank all you guys, those who... Uh, by memberships and those who don't, those who just view, you guys are just as welcome. So, Ooh, I almost fell. <laughs> Talk to you later.